Hi, Joanne Wilson here, and right now I want to talk to you about our contact page and um, our Astra theme. My particular template that I'm using has a contact form pre-generated and required the use of contact form 7. It also has a Google Map, and I want to show you how to add your address to that Google Map if you have a brick and mortar store or would like to add a location to it. And I'm going to show you how to add this little widget area uh, to your contact form 7. This is a nice feature for mobile phones where you don't have to type in a CAPTCHA. You can just select. It tells you to select the house. You would select it and send message that way. You don't have to actually fill in any letters or numbers. I'm going to explain all that information today. So as I said, uh, general you would have it automatically was added in with my template for the Astra theme from with the Astra starter sites. We're using Elementor. In this case, I'm going to a different website that um, I just added contact form 72. It should it will be listed in my plugins right now, contact form 7. The capture area is a contact form 7 image captcha so I want to add that right at the moment so and as you see I've used it before and this is the one we're looking for before I uh, install it I'm going to open the more details because I'm going to copy this short code while before I install it, because this is little piece of short code is what we're going to be adding to our contact form. So now I'm going to install it and activate it. All right, now let's go to our contact form. Contact form will be under contact and contact forms. And here we are. We'll click on the contact form. And it's all pre-set up with your subject, message, email, and your name. This does use some short codes in here and coding, so if you're not um, comfortable using this type of setup, then you might want to uh, try a different contact form plug-in. We, I will be showing you an optional contact form here in just a moment, but for the moment, we're going to be using contact form 7, and now I want to add that little bit of short code right here right before the send button now you can edit anything that's between these quotes in the send I'm going to put send message instead of just send anything right here if there's this little asterisk in in this piece of short code then that indicates that it's a required field so right here, the name and the email are required. Subject is not required. I think, though, that I would like to have a message actually required. So I added a little asterisk there. And I will make sure to add that notation that it's required so people on the other end will see that. The next area you need to go to is your mail tab right here. And make sure that the two where it's going to uh, is is in this box that that's correct sometimes you will have a configuration error and that configuration error will come from this area you can only send a message from contact form 7 from your domain so WordPress at whatever your domain name is needs to be in the from field this code right here says your name well that's the name of the person that is sending the contact form and I don't particularly want their name there um, I do want to change the subject line I generally like to say something like a uh, message from contact form on website 
and this one is my midnight artistry so I'm going to put midnight artistry my midnight artistry website down here in the body this re tells you what is going to be included in the message of the body of your message I already know this is from a contact form so I'm just going to delete that the next area our messages if you click on that tab this tells you you can change these messages for instance you could say thank you for your message if you haven't heard back from us within 24 hours or 48 hours please call us um, you can customize all of these messages in here there's tons of them once you're finished filling out the information with your contact form you would click Save to generate this form on a page, you highlight and copy that short code. You can also go right from the contact form listing. You can copy and paste it right from there as well, or copy it. Now I'm going to go to a page, and I'm going to create a contact page, a sample contact page and add that short code just paste it right into the to the content area i'm going to publish it and i'm going to open it and there's my contact form with my captcha obviously this is the default theme for because i haven't changed it on this test website but in my other website it is all formatted in a different manner so it looks a little different but that's how you would add your contact form and how you access it and how you would add this little image captcha the second option for adding a contact form if you're not comfortable using the short codes is to use a contact form called uh, WP Forms Light, and let's go ahead to our plugins and add new. All right, it's a uh, WP Forms. It should be the first one that comes up. No, it's our second one over here, and so we will install it. It's from WP Forms. And now we're going to activate it. This is a more user friendly uh, form editor that you, is a drag and drop. This gives you a little video you can watch to help you create your first forms and gives you the whole walkthrough, which is a nice feature. I would suggest that you go ahead and watch this it will give you probably more detailed instructions than what I'm going to do in my quick walkthrough. Okay, well, let's go ahead and watch it. Let's switch over to the YouTube channel and watch it. I'm just going to pause that so we can go back. So quickly, now we have a new menu option over here on the left let's go to all forms and nothing's been created now so we're going to add new and all we're going to need is a simple contact form i'm just going to walk you through the simple contact form and already it's set up first name, last name, email. Now this area selects the entire area for the name. I don't particularly want a separate field for the first name and the last name. So let's change the format to simple. And what that does is it puts it all in one line. The little red asterisk is showing that that's a required field. We've got our email and our comment message. All three of these fields are required. Now, if I wanted to add a field, 
let's go to field and I'm going to add a single line of text. I would drag it to where I wanted it. And click in there to, so that I can edit it. And I'm going to add subject. Okay, this is not going to be a required field, so I'm not going to check that box. And see what goes, what's in our advanced options that, that gives you some additional settings. And now we're going to click save, so we make sure that we've saved that. All right, the next thing we want to do is I want to check the settings here. <clears throat> this tells me that this has a anti-spam honeypot on that. We want to make sure that's checked. A honeypot is just a hidden field that is not checked in the back end of the in the code area and spam bots uh, or uh, little troublesome programs running through our web in the internet looking for contact forms just to fill in will automatically check that box. And what the honeypot does is if that box is checked, it will not send that email. So that's a good uh, anti-spam measure. Under notifications, this is set to go to the admin email. So that means it's set to whatever email address I have set up as the administrative email in my WordPress setup. You can also change that to a different email address if you like, but this one works for me. All right, and the email subject, new entry, simple contact form. Let's change that as well to uh, message from Midnight Artistry contact form. All right, there's the form name. It'll say simple contact form. Again, it'll be from uh, my admin email. The reply to will be from the email address that is on the form. And then all the fields in the message will be displayed. So all this is already set up. Let's see what happens. The confirmation says thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly that's the default message you can add your own custom message if you like if you want to uh, set up a page that for it a different page you can set up a page and then choose the page you want them to go to or you can go uh, straight to a, a redirect URL we're just going to leave it with the message. We don't need to send them anywhere else. And now I'm going to make sure I save that. Now, how do I add that to a page? Let's go back to my pages I set up and the contact sample contact page. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the contact form seven that we input earlier. Now you're going to find this new option. It says add form. This makes it really easy for you to select your contact form. And that's as simple as it gets. Click the add form, select the form, and, add, and click add form again. And it's in there. Let's update. Update. Okay, and now that we've gone through the contact forms, I want to go back and show you how to add your address to the um, Google Maps. And again, I'm using Elementor on this web, particular website. We'll go into my contact page. And adding your address into the Google Maps section is <laughs> extremely easy. Since I'm a service business, I don't put my home address. I do just put the area that I'm in, and Google Maps will also pick that up. Once my Elementor loads, okay, now it's loaded. All you do is have to click on your map, and right here in the address bar, you will find where you put your address. I just put the area I live in, Victor, Montana.
maybe we could put Hamilton, Montana. Oops, let me spell that so the capital H. That's going to take a moment to find it. There we are. We can adjust our zoom level, the height of our map if we want it really tall. I'm going to shrink it back down. Let's increase my zoom just one click. Let's see what that looks like. It does take a minute to reload. It starts coming in a little more and a little more. It's just like if you were on Google Maps itself, as you zoom in, you get more and more detail. So let's go back down a little bit. I like the overall view a little more so you can get a more defined look of the map. And finally, click Update to save your map. And we'll refresh the page. Our page is refreshed and our new map is there. All right, thank you and I will see you next time or chat with you next time in my next video.